Seal Test, the name that means topmost quality. In ice cream, milk, and other dairy products, presents Burr Tilstrom, creator of Kukla, Ollie, and all the Kuklapolitan players with Fran Allison in Kukla, Fran, and Ollie. Monday, the Museum of Science and Industry. Mm -hmm. Songs. All hail television. Mm -hmm. Tuesday. It says so right here. Right here in print, it says so. Garden hints. It says it right here in print, it says. Garden Hints by Fletcher Rabbit. Tuesday reserved. No songs. No other business. Nothing else must interfere. Garden Hints by Fletcher Rabbit. That's my name. This is, I believe, Tuesday. Anyway, it follows this show, so it must be the right day. I'm going to check on things. Cecil Bill? Ooh hoo. Cecil Bill? Ooh hoo hoo hoo. Tweet -tweet -tweet -tweet. Cecil Bill, would you mind reading the schedule to me? That was yesterday. Next one. <laughs> Confirmed. <clears throat> Colonel Cracky. Ooh hoo. Colonel Cracky. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Oh, Colonel Cracky. Hoo, hoo. Yes, my boy. Would you mind reading uh, the schedule for me, please? Why, well, certainly. Did you forget your glasses? No, I just want something confirmed. <clears throat> Museum of Science and Industry. No, no, the next part. Hmm, I must have my glasses on upside down. Um, reserved for Fletcher Rabbit all day. Garden hints. That's all I want to know. Congratulations, my boy, and good luck. <laughs> well, sir, that's two. Two down, seven to go. <clears throat> uh... Miss Witch, Beulah, hee hee, hee 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 hee, ho 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 ho, Beulah. Hello, dear. How well? <laughs> nice to see you, dear. How have you been? I've been just fine. Beulah, would you mind looking at the schedule, please? Certainly. No, Beulah, on this side. Oh, well. Say, that's nice. Hmm. <laughs> Great. Do Hansel and Gretel on Monday. On Tuesday, we do our first Christmas show. Bula? Hmm? Are you reading this schedule? Oh, no, I never read the one on the top. I read the one on the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Bula. See you later. Sure. Sure, are you going someplace? No, but you are. Well, sir, I guess that's good enough for me. Won't bother calling in the rest of them. Jack, did you see the schedule today? I saw it earlier today. You saw what it said? That's, that's right. No music, nothing but just plain old Fletcher Rabbit, right? Your day. Lynn? Yeah? You saw it, didn't you? I read it earlier. Good. All the boys in the control room know? They all know about it. Good. Is the merchandise mart alerted? Everything's alerted, Fletch. That's 
Great. Well, sir, this is just the day. <laughs> this is going to be grand. <clears throat> Excuse me. At this time, the Kukupolitan players would like to present something very special. A very special young man who knows his business. A very special young man who is going to tell you his business. And a very special young man who is going to, at this time, present the first in a series of garden lectures entitled Springtime Garden Hints. May I present this young man at this time? Hey. Cooper, really? Hi, Fletch. How are you? Fred? Yes. How are you? Fine. You want to sing a song to me now? Well, I but, don't know, but, uh, but, but, Cool but, Quit. This is a very tricky thing but, to do. But, I work for... Hello, Fletcher. Uh, hello, How are Francis. you? But uh, did I, you can't I see the schedule today. Work. I really didn't look at it, Fletch. I didn't Jack, do you either. remember? No. Well, it's, a, it's the song we practiced a little while ago. What you know, the song that Fran promised she'd sing to me, you know. Yeah, I but, will try I, it. I don't but, know if I can do it or not. Excuse me, Miss Fletcher. It's a lovely thing, really. So... Very hard. Oh, I think a few more times and I'll have it. Oh, uh, you can sing that to me any day of the week. Oh. To me, too. How are you? Hello, Al. I'm just fine. <laughs> well, you look wonderful. Thank you, old gardeners. Aren't they pretty? Aren't they beautiful? Mm -hmm. Oh, spring. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what have matter. you been doing? Oh, I've been practicing. Have you? Yeah, I'm going to do my poems today. Oh, are you? Yeah. I wondered what we were going to do today. Great, I Alice. didn't get in until late. Yeah, well, I'm going to do the poems today. Good. What are you going to do, Cooper? Oh, I'm going to help. Uh, we're going to work on, on some dances. I want to do a little dancing. Madam Okapus and I are going to work on a choreography for a couple of spring dances. Oh, oh good. We'll all go with, uh, spring dancing, huh? Just getting us about the season for it. Oh, that'll Grass be is getting green. Well, I'm going to work. Miss I'll leave you two like alone. Park. <laughs> I missed you, Alice. Mm -hmm. I certainly did. I missed you too. Did you? <laughs> so glad to be back. <laughs> Anything much happened while I was gone? Nothing important. Nothing really. Nothing important could happen while you're gone, Francis. Oh, aren't you the one? <sighs> A lot of new poems come in? Yes, wonderful poems. Oh, I'm so anxious to hear but them. But today I was going to uh, try some ad lib poems. Oh, well, that's nice. I, I, uh, I have a dandy one, but I want to read it to you. You have it with you? No, I have it with me. I'm going to do it. I thought maybe tomorrow. Oh, right? that'd be great. I wish you had it today. I wish I did, too. Yeah. <laughs> well, I guess I better go. Yeah. have some things to do. I'll see you later. See you later, yeah. <clears throat> now I get my point.
garden. Greetings, garden lovers everywhere. I'd like now to show you the very first step in how a garden should grow. <clears throat> remember that lovely little rhyme that we all remember in our childhood? Mary, Mary, quite contrary, how does your garden grow? With uh, something, bells, and cockle shells, uh, who in the heck wants to know? <laughs> Haven't you planted that yet? <laughs> Hello, poetry lovers everywhere. Here we are, all set for a wonderful session of poetry. I know we're going to enjoy it. <clears throat> Today we're going to ad-lib a few poems about spring. Because <laughs> spring is in the air, and soon it will be summer. And uh, flowers will bloom everywhere. Now that just shows what a p poetry writer can do if he's not thinking. <laughs> you can ad-lib poetry just like that. Most of us, if we use our words properly, can just uh, open our mouths and let the lovely rhymes come out. It isn't necessary for them to always rhyme. Oh, me, oh, my, no. Many times, some of the most loveliest, some of the lovely most, some of the, some of the prettiest poetry that has ever been written has been in blank verse. So let us try now. Let us just take a, uh, a random phrase, here, there, or anywhere. Shall we? All right. Do you have one? Well, so do I. <clears throat> Here's one. Spring has sprung. Lovely. It's a random phrase that I borrowed from a song of the same name by Jack Fashionato. It's a, it's a lovely song he wrote. Goes the random phrase. Well, I'll go into that later. Spring has sprung. <clears throat> now, what would rhyme with that? Spring has sprung. What a lovely song has been sung. The bells are rung. Um... Uh, the bells are rung. Uh, out the window he was flung. <laughs> now that has not only a lovely rhyming scheme, but also a lovely message. <laughs> Think it over, poetry lovers, won't you? That's what I'm going to do now. If you have any little efforts that you just ad lib like that, jot them down. Jot them down and send them. Send them to uh, Arthur Godfrey. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do. I never was inhibited before. I have never, I have never been neurotic or any of those really high sounding words. I'm just a simple fellow trying to get along. I, I have no complex thoughts. I'm utterly simple, sweet fellow that's trying to get along in the world. That's all I am. That's all. All I ask is a little time to give garden lovers a little bit of advice. This has gone along for three weeks now. It's getting to be pretty thick. Well, I'll try once more. <laughs> Hello, Francis, dear. Hello, Mom. Francis, I want to talk to you a moment. May I? Yes, indeed you may. Hello, darling. How are you? Oh, gardenia. Mm -hmm. Secret admirer. No. Oh, no. <laughs> I bet it is. <laughs> no, it really isn't. Your hair is looking lovely. Thank you. Dear, what do you think about my coat? Do you think it's the right length? The, the new mink coat? Do you think it's as practical as ermine? Practical? <laughs> I'd never thought of either mink or ermine as being practical. Well, I just... Practically the nicest thing you could have. <laughs> well, you're right there. But I just somehow, I somehow felt that, well, I wondered if you... Well, you know Beulah. She's been going around with that cape so much. Yes, she really has. It's been wonderful. Well, I wouldn't change your coat at all. I think it's just perfect. Thank you. I'm glad you like it, dear. It's always, it'll always be in good I taste. 
somebody come in? Uh, for the moment. Oh. Well, dear, I just wanted to make sure, you know, that, that it was right. Well, it, it, it is as far as I'm concerned. I oh. think you can feel very, very comfortable. I wouldn't want it to be wrong. No. Oh, it isn't wrong. I it's love it, though. Simply love it. Well, it is a beautiful thing. I'm going to wear it to the beach in summer. The what? <laughs> the beach. Well, everybody to his own taste. Things are getting desperate. Fletcher, hold on to yourself, old man. Oh, what am I doing? I'm talking to myself. This can't go on. For gracious sakes, no. Surely there must be an interim, a slight pause somewhere. I'm sure there must be. Hi, Fletch, would you hold the dustpan for me? Here. Down. Thank Lord. Oh. I'm going to take my flower pots. I'm going to leave right now. I'm going to Washington where they, where, where they appreciate me. That's all there is to it. I. My other flower pot. <laughs> there were three. One, two. One. one. Now you see it, now you don't. <laughs> one, one, no. Empty, see? It isn't there. I know it isn't there. I'm sure it isn't there. No, it isn't. <laughs> yeah, I swear that there were three here. No, now there are only two. Now, gracious sakes, where could the other one have gone? Oh, dear. Why? Well, I'm not going to leave without all three of my flower pots. <laughs> I can't find it. I can't. I. Oh, here it is. Well, that'll be fine. I'll see. Oh, this one's all nice. I, What's in my flower pot? How did that one get up here and what's in it? Oh. Ice cream. What's ice cream doing in my flower pot? Someone's got to answer for this. What's ice cream doing in my flower pot? Someone? What? Oh. I was afraid I was losing my senses for a moment. I, I'm having... Hallucinations. Uh, Kukla, tell me what's in these three flower pots. What's in this one? <laughs> Nothing. What's in this one? Nothing. What's in this one? Ice cream. Ow! Fred! <laughs> <laughs> what's up to poor Fletch? He's going to pieces. He has? Well, I had a special dessert all planned for him because today was his garden lecture day. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that he's gone to pieces. The last I heard he was going to Washington. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Fred, isn't this cute? Ice cream? Yes, but oh, this is kind of special. This is this is a little dessert I was going to fix it for him. It's called Flower Pot Sunday. Oh, how cute. Yeah, I read about it. It's a special seal test ice cream dessert. Well, any kind of dessert that has seal test ice cream in it is rather special. That's what I think, too. Now, this doesn't quite look like... I mean, it's not exactly the way it looks. I mean, I didn't pack the ice cream right in the flower pot. Oh. Because you're not supposed to do that. You don't do it that no, way. No, I had a little paper cup, you know, like a well, like a little custard cup or mm -hmm. a, a little um, uh, muffin cup. You know those little paper mm -hmm. cups that come? So I packed the, a little uh, seal test ice cream in there. Oh, that's... Vanilla. Nice. Took it out of my half gallon size, oh, you know. Oh, yes. That's the smart size to get. It is. It's so economical because you have two full quarts in every container. Now, um, um, I packed it in there. I kept this in the freezer. That's why Fletcher couldn't find it. Oh, poor little thing. Yeah, I know. Now, this is what you do. You pour a little chocolate sauce on the top. Like that. Mm-hmm. Just a little, just a little just touch. Hmm? Like that. This is wonderful. Then you take, you go out into the garden get some fresh lilies of the valley, or any little flower, but be sure to wrap the stems in wax paper. See how I've wrapped them in wax paper? Oh, yeah. And then, uh, yeah, I'll let you do it. You like to plant them right in there in the wax paper so the what? Because you wouldn't want to get any... That's fine. 
Yes. Isn't that a wonderful idea? Isn't that wonderful? A syrup based ice cream? I should say. Isn't that cute? And then you serve with a trowel. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a nice thought, too. I thought so, too. Oh, yes, indeed. <laughs> Well, that is just beautiful. That's is this right. your own idea? No, I read about it, but I, I, I tell you, really, it isn't supposed to be in a little flower pot. No? It's supposed to be just in the paper cup. Oh, well, I like it in a little flower pot. Well, I, I put, the, put it in the paper cup first, and then I put it in the flower pot just to, to give Fletcher a little... Well, you treat. did it right. Well, I don't think you probably won't want it now. Oh, I... Oh, like I... To take it? Well, may I? Um, would you sample it? Oh, certainly I will. I, I... You won't mind if I don't use the trowel. No, you can use a spoon, Fred. Probably better. <laughs> this, this is the end. This really is the end. Something must be done. Something really must be done because I have to get that lecture or else I will... Well, I just... Oh, really, I... I'm... Control yourself, Fletcher. Control yourself. Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six... Ah! <laughs> I shouldn't do this, but I think I will. If I don't, I'll go mad. You hear? Mad. Mad! <laughs> What's so funny, Fletch? Fletch? Fletch is laughing now. That's good. I don't understand. <laughs> oh. When are we going to have the garden lecture? Can hardly wait for the garden lecture. I want to take notes. Yeah, I do too. Can hardly wait. <laughs> Hello? Yes, this is Kukwa. Who? Where? Well, who's in trouble? All right, I'll be right down. Ollie, too? All right, we'll both be right down. And who is this cook? Hang up. Brian, you'll have to excuse me. I have to leave for a little while. All right. I'll be back. Fine. Will you answer the phone or anything if it rings? Certainly. Okay. Good thing I agreed to do this. Hello? Miss Fran speaking. What corner? Well, I guess so. Well, uh, hold on just a minute. How will I know you? All right. I don't do this kind of thing very often. All right. Do, do, do. Mm -hmm. Cecil Bill, mind the phone. Will you dear have to leave? Totally. Success. I had no idea I could disguise my voice so well. 
Well, sir, garden lovers, I had a query just before the show from our boom boy, Dean. He said that he was having difficulty growing grass because the soil was sour. Well, I suggest this to him. Add a powdered or granulated sugar, a tablespoon to each uh, acre. That will help a lot, Dean. Now, sir. <clears throat> well, sir, I have my... Oops. <clears throat> now, in order to plant seeds for an early uh, spring plant, uh, perhaps some of these you'd like to grow here first in your uh, window box garden, and then you'd like to uh, set out later on. Well, put some good, uh, rich earth in your flower pot, like so. <clears throat> A little dry. I'm afraid I should have watered it. Watered it the first time we started this lecture. Oops. All righty, then get your seeds. I've got to hurry. They'll be back in a second. Here's some nice carrot seeds. Let's try those. I'm not taking any chances. I'm pouring the whole bunch right in there. <clears throat> All righty, then you take a little water. <clears throat> There we are. <laughs> then, a little more earth. There we are. All set. You got it, garden lovers? Well, hang on to it, because our time is limited. Well, sir, next week I'll speak to you. When the little plants start to grow, we'll carry on our gardening from there. Yes, sir, we will. <laughs> Thank you, garden lovers. Friend! Yes? Friend! Oh. Hey, I just, I just hurried back. I went down to the corner. I was supposed to meet somebody there wearing white flowers. The only anybody was there was me. I already knew me, so I came back. <laughs> I went to the police station. To the police station? Yeah, I, I went to the police station. Anybody we know? Well, I don't know. Nobody was down there. They said hello and they enjoyed the show. Oh, I think... Ollie uh, wasn't there, though, actually. We, we started out the police station. I went to the library. This wasn't here a few minutes ago. <laughs> the little gardener? The little gardener. Well, I don't really begrudge him the time, do you? Not a bit. <laughs> There's only one thing I can say now. Get the best. Get seal test. <laughs> Get the best, get seal test. Say, Peggy, do you see what I see? Seal test, America's favorite ice cream. And look at this. Oh, my favorite flavor, vanilla. Famous seal test vanilla. Mmm, that looks good. It's extra smooth and creamy. Patent flavor, too. That's what Kukla always says. And he's right. Why, you can't beat Seal Test Vanilla Ice Cream for pure goodness. I'd like some right now. Okay. Think I'll have some, too. Mmm. I wish everybody could have some. <laughs> well, they can. Order Creamy Smooth Vanilla from your Seal Test Ice Cream dealer. Buy the best. Buy Seal Test. Hello, this is Burr Tilstrom again. As my good friend Ollie might say. <laughs> Thanks very much. Kukla, Pran, and Ollie are brought to you by the divisions of National Dairy Products Corporation, makers of Seal Test products. Always look for the name Seal Test. It's your assurance of purity, quality, and fine, rich flavor in ice cream, milk, and other dairy products. Kukla, Fran, and Ollie came to you from Chicago. NBC Television.